Right, thanks for checking out this time slice After Effects template. I've got a little guided tour of all the things that you can do with it. Super happy with this template. I think it's really cool and there's so many different options and things that you can play with. Okay, so first things first, the template basically has three different sizes. You've got a four by five and all the different comps that come with that. And then you've got nine by 16, which is full vertical, and then 16 by nine as well. So what you need to do is you need to drag in your base footage into one of the comps that says put your footage here. So let's work on a 16 by nine example for this video. Open up the building comp and you can see already there is a sample clip of Tower Bridge that you can use. So I'm just gonna drop in one of the other sample clips so you can see what the process is like from the very beginning. So grab this two in clip here, drop it into the comp. Um, now what's important is the length of your time lapse. Basically the way that the template works is it only works on a 10 second segment of the clip. So I've made the sample media exactly the right length, but if your footage was a little bit too short or a little bit too long, you'd want to right click on it, go to time, time stretch, and then just adjust the duration to make it exactly the right length. So straight away we've got ourselves a nice little time slice effect and the way that this template works is it basically plays the footage backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards um, over the course of three seconds. So that's why um, if you have 18 seconds of this it ends up being a perfect loop. All of these compositions are actually a perfect loop and I wouldn't change the duration of the composition um, because when we start going into the motion sections over here, uh, 18 seconds is what I've worked out as the right length of time needed for the motion to work. So don't change the length of time, just let it play through. It's all good, it's a perfect loop. So let's look at the things that we can adjust then. So first of all, we've got slices. This is pretty simple. This is just the number of slices um, and the comp is automatically set up to adjust using this slider here. Um, so if I turn this down to five, you can see now we've only got five slices. You can go all the way down to two. I think you can even go back down to one. Um, so what you could do is you could even keyframe this and animate this throughout the course of your video. It might look pretty cool. Um, now, what you might notice is if you push this above 10, you're going to start to get an empty section on the right-hand side of the screen here. Don't worry about this. If you watch the end of this video, I'll talk you through how to make any number of slices that you want. The reason I've set this as a maximum of 10 is just because the compositions get pretty heavy and they play back really slowly if you start putting in too many different slices. It's totally possible to have any number that you want, so just watch a bit further on and I'll tell you how to do that. So the next thing that we can adjust is motion. So if I check this box and then play that through, so there it is with motion enabled, and you can see what this basically does is it just animates the slices from left to right, and I think it's quite a nice effect. So you can toggle that button on or off, however you want to do it. Let's just turn off motion again. The next thing that I've put in is a blur edges function. You might find that these slices look a little bit ugly when they're put next to each other because there's quite a lot of contrast between them. So if you just crank up the blur edges to about five, you can see it will blend the slices together. Or you could go even further, you could push it all the way up to 10, and then the whole thing kind of just blends into one. So you'll notice with blur edges set to 10, um, now it looks like all of the slices are kind of blurred together. And it's quite a pleasing look to see the time lapse sort of swiping across the screen like that. So that's just something that you can play around with. And then the final thing you can adjust is this button here, which is called reverse alternate slices. And what that will do is it will just flip every other slice to play backwards. And you'll end up with something which is a little bit more stylized. It's a little bit more collage-y. So now they sort of alternate between day and night and day and night. So if we watch that through, you can see this is just another kind of fun effect that you can create with this template. Um, it's quite stylized. You might not like it, but you might like it too. So that's it for the vertical template. Let's just jump into the horizontal one. And this is in fact almost identical, um, but now the slices are going horizontally rather than vertically. So you've got exactly the same controls that you can play with. You've got number of slices, and then we've got motion. So we turn that on and then the whole thing is gonna move across the screen like that. So you might find that when you're trying to preview these and when you're trying to look at them, um, they're quite slow to preview just because you've got lots of different layers. So if I were you, I would go into the, um, the, the preview quality here and I'd turn that right down to a quarter and then you should be able to um, play it and watch it in reasonable time. So this is the horizontal slice. I think this is actually really nice with a bit of motion on it. You can see the way the clouds change direction. Um, and you can just see actually looking at it like this, you can get a feel for how it loops the time lapse forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards every three seconds. Let's take a look at the diagonal slice now. This one is actually very similar. Um, it's just sort of halfway between the horizontal and the vertical one. Um, again, we've got the same controls to play with. We've got number of slices. We've got whether we want it to be in motion or not. We've got blur in the edges. And if you really crank that up, actually, it will just sort of seamlessly go from day to night all across one scene and you won't even notice the different slices at all. Cool, so that is a look at the diagonal slice. You can see it playing through there, it looks really nice. Okay, so this is the circle template. Um, 
just like before we've got the same things that we can adjust we've got the number of slices we've got whether it's in motion or not and the circles expand um, we've got blurring the edges and we've got reversing the alternate slices so this is it in motion uh, and again just like the other ones this has been designed to be a perfect loop um, and it loops every 12 seconds so don't change the length of the composition and you've got yourself a nice perfect loop that'll go on forever next one is the fan slice so this is the fan slice in action so it basically cuts up the scene into um, the different sections like a fan radiating out from the center point there and you can change the number of slices again. What you could even do with this one is you could maybe keyframe um, the number of slices. So maybe you could have two slices here and then you could increase it up to 10 here. So you get yourself a kind of cool transition from two slices up to, up to 10. There we go. So there with motion on looks really nice. So this is the diamond slice and by default it's actually gonna rotate like this. Um, and you can control this using the rotation slider here. If you didn't want it to rotate, then what you could do is um, you could actually just delete these keyframes here. And then maybe you could set it to 45 or something like that. Um, so it's true diamond. And then that would just play through just like that. But I think the rotation looks pretty nice. And if you combine it with motion, um, you end up with So that's it for the basic templates. We've looked at the 16 by 9 ones, but the 9 by 16 and the 4 by 5 templates are actually exactly the same, they're just a different shape. So it should be nice and easy to use in exactly the same way. Okay, now the next thing to talk about is how to add more slices. Um, so if I go into the control layer here and I crank this up to 15, you can see we've run out of slices, we need a few more around the edges here. And that's totally possible. Um, you're just gonna have to jump into the layers and do something that's a little bit more complicated than before. The first thing you're gonna do is click um, this little shy icon here and then you can see all of the different layers. Um, you can see all the different layers here. What we basically need to do is we need to grab the bottom two. So that's the mat. Here it's 15, footage 15. Press Command D or Control D. That's gonna duplicate them. And then just drag them to the bottom. And you can see what it's done is it's turned 15 into 16 and then footage into 16 as well. So we've got ourselves another layer. And I'm going to go all the way up to 20 here. So I'm doing the same thing again. Command D, Command D. And the layer order is really important. So you need to make sure it goes mat 15, footage 15, mat 16, footage 16. So you just duplicate any layer. It doesn't matter which layer you duplicate, but just make sure that you drag it down to the bottom and it's called the right thing. And the comp should automatically adjust itself to work. But if you look here, you'll see that it hasn't added any extra layers. So there's one more thing that we need to do. What I need to do is I need to click toggle switch modes here. And then the footage layer um, in the track mat column needs to link up with the mat above it. So this one, which is footage 19, should be mat 19. So let's turn that to mat 19. This one above, and you can see it's made a new ring exactly where we wanted it, which is great. So just keep going down. This one's gonna be mat 18. This one's gonna be mat 17. All right, so now we've got a bunch more layers than we had before. And that hopefully means that you can get the effect that you're looking for. And that is it for this template. Thank you for listening. I hope it all makes sense. If you've got any questions, please leave me a comment. And also please do tag me in anything you make with it.